You hear that? That doesn't sound very good. Some of the owners of the FC10 and MT10 models have been complaining about the clutch cable length being too short. And this is a good sign that it could have left me stranded. But I got a replacement through Venhill that's a, a 50 millimeter longer. Hopefully be able to correct the issue. Be forewarned that if you're not familiar with doing this type of repair on your uh, motorcycle you know it's up to you to get it done professionally if needed so the first thing that I actually did was disconnect the cable from the clutch perch and I did a measurement based on where it was on the centered uh, handlebar position holding the cable to where it would be somewhat curved to add a little bit of flex when it's moved to the left position as such so when you go full lock on the left hand side you want to make sure that it's not getting stretched so with that in mind I measured it with a small tape measure and the estimate was about two inches for that or 50 millimeters and that's why I went with the 50 millimeter extra length now I added the color choice to go with gray just thought it might be something interesting to add a little extra custom couple things to keep in mind there's a cable guide mounted to the uh, upper, upper triple tree and then of course you got to make sure it's routed behind the metal piece that provides a little bit of tension to keep it away from the ignition switch so I'll be taking the side cover off here of the radiator to make sure we have enough room to get hands up in there if pop if that's needed so a couple of clips start with the two 12 millimeters on the bottom keeping it centered to make sure that your cable has enough fore and aft adjustment on the bottom <clears throat> and then we'll make the adjustment on the free play once the cable is installed so I got the cable out and just as a reminder, check it prior to doing the install to make sure the length works, the ends are correct. This one here shows about 50 millimeters, just as I had ordered. But the other thing too is you'll need you know, something such as a cable lube tool but in looking at this it was pinched pretty bad so where it's scraped here and then this kink here was up where it runs through the guide near the triple tree so now what I did notice was the Van Hill cable doesn't have the extra rubber coating so after pre positioning the cable and running it through the guides and based on the uh, chafing and wear on the original cable, I decided to do a double layer of heat shrink tubing to add a little protection to the, uh, the vent hill cable. So uh, that's one thing. And the other thing is just make sure when you're setting it up initially, you have it pretty much in the middle on the, uh, the bottom before you lock it down just leave it hand tight and that way you can get it set up once it's into the perch so we got the cable mounted up in the perch I had locked down the uh, lock nuts down at the bottom got my adjustment set up so you got a little bit of free play like it's supposed to 
of course you know there's no way to really get around having the infamous cable in front of the ignition switch on these FC10s and MT10s it's kind of an inher inherent uh, you know not a design flaw but just uh, one of those quirks so you can see where the cable runs down and uh, it's got a good bit of clearance now so the other thing too is if you want to get it a little closer to the upper triple tree you can always take and you know, re-bend this in uh, with a you know long block of wood or something tap it in so it's got a little bit uh, less play uh, where the uh, cable goes through the, the uh, guide there so the other thing too is when they had hooked up the uh, clip here um, I bent this with a little pair of pliers and a heat gun just to give it a little bit more tension um, that's the last thing I got to bolt up that's pretty straightforward this one down at the bottom I actually put a, a little piece of uh, old old fuel line to uh, add a little uh, diameter to the to the tube to the uh, cable itself so the tube uh, would be a little bit more stiff so at any rate hope uh, you like a uh, little tutorial on how to do the clutch cable uh, have some safe riding and I'll put some links below to to Ven Hill so you can uh, take advantage of what they offer and here again no endorsement on from them just thought I'd uh, share this with you so it might help you out